this is a video I decided to make because I've looked at a lot of videos before I bought my generator and there's a lot of people asking if the 3500 Predator will run an RV's air conditioner. Now I have a Tahoe 30, 31 foot, I don't know, but it's got a, a, a 13K, 13,000 BTU air conditioner on top. It does not have booster caps. I did buy one, still right here in the bag. I'm probably gonna put it on because I think it does, you know, help the system to start up, makes it easier. But this is a 13K generator. I'm gonna fire up the Predator. I also am gonna be doing something that I haven't seen anybody else do, which is use a laser temperature uh, thermometer. Wow, I had to struggle for that word. <laughs> so I decided to take a little break from the shop here. I've been doing a couple more projects before uh, uh, the day is over. But I decided to stop because I had another one come up in my feed. I was checking in on some YouTube videos when I was uh, taking a little break here. And it was another 3500 watt Predator generator. And this isn't the old one. This isn't the Screaming Demon. This is the inverter generator, the, the super quiet one. Mine has been broken in. It's been run about eight hours. And what I'm going to do is go out. My RV is unplugged right now. It's a little windy out, so let me explain to you what's going to happen here. I'm going to show you the temperature, like right now. See, right now in my shop, it's like 70, 74, 75. I think you can see that. I don't know. Uh, that's because I got my air conditioner running. It's still pretty warm outside, so we'll go outside. We'll take the outside temperature. I will fire up the generator. We will plug in the RV. The AC is already set to come on. I'm going to show you the generator screen. I'm explaining this now because it's windy out. You'll see the amperage draw from startup. That'll be the AC kicking on. And my fridge is running, too. You cannot run a microwave and an AC unit at the same time. You'd have to get two of these units in parallel. So we're going to fire it up. Then I'm going to go in the RV and we'll take a reading at the RV's output vent. So let's go. I should add also that the Harbor Freight Predator generator does come with the proper adapter, even though I'm going to show you something. Oh, hi guys. See, it's windy, so Just bear with me for the wind noise. I'll try to keep you guys out of it for the most part. So here's the RV. There's the cord. You'll notice the cord is sitting over here on the generator. On the generator inverter. Uh, this generator, I'm probably going to pull this panel and actually put in a, uh, if it'll fit, an actual RV output, but I'm going to do that after this thing's out of warranty. So for now, uh, helps me put it in there the right way. <laughs> oh, there you go. Come on now, Reggie. Okay, so let's turn this sucker on. Now I'm going to fire it up. I'm not going to plug this in just yet, and I like to kind of, for now, I stick the cord into the top handle. Excuse my, there. I kind of do that with the cord because this is in a really weird position, and if you just have it hanging straight, it, it just bends and it's putting all kinds of stress on this. But I found if you just tuck that cord, it doesn't get hot up here, tuck that cord in, and then you can plug that in and it will stay nice. We're not going to plug it in just yet. We're going to fire this bad boy up, let it warm up for a minute. And also, you do not want the ESC electronic speed control on. It's the Eco Throttle. It's their version of Honda's Eco Throttle. You want that off. You do not want to try to be kicking a generator on on an RV with the Eco Throttle and this thing idling low. You want it already up there. So let's go ahead and fire it up. We'll wait a minute, and then we will plug it in, and I will show you the screen right here so let's 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 go all right so she's putting out 123 volts as you can see right now she has zero zero on the draw she's got nine hours on her so she's broken in and what I'll do is when I plug it in I'll have it on this one so you'll see the actual amperage draw so let's go while that's warming up, let's 
take the outside temperature here. Okay, so as you can see, I hope you can see it is 95.8. So it's about 96 degrees outside. All right. And again, see, put the eco throttle on. She'll quiet right down. And that's good if you're just running light duty stuff that, you know, doesn't have the kind of punch that an AC would starting up. So like I said, there is the cord. Follow it around. You can see that this is in fact the cord going to my RV. The fridge has not engaged, which means it's cool enough. So I was hoping that the propane was going to be engaged on the fridge. Maybe I'll go in, open up the fridge so that the propane fires up. How about that? Because then when the generator kicks on, all right, let's go on in. It's a little messy because I've been doing some final work here. Let's go in here. And let's see, mode. All right, so now it's on auto. Oh yeah, I still got some Texas steaks all up in here. I'm gonna be eating those up. You see my freezer is, is on. Let's open up the fridge door. What's in here? Cheese sauce. <laughs> That's from my last trip. So I'm gonna open this stuff up so that my fridge comes on. I want it to be on propane so that when we plug in the generator, that should be enough. Slides in, that's why it's a little cramped in here. When we plug in the generator, I've got the shroud off. This is normally all covered, just so you guys know what's happening. I wanted an accurate reading. Normally that cap is on there. If you go back in my videos, you'll see that I built this nice surround for the AC. And there's normally a filter in there, I was just cleaning it. But uh, let's make sure that the air conditioner is going to come on. Drop it down to like 75. That should be good. And uh, I'll leave that light on too, even though everything in here is LED, so that's hardly any draw. So let's go out and plug it in, and we'll come back in. Oh, let's 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 be real here. Even though it's not running, and you can hear it. All right, it was running, so it's 74 because it was plugged in. But the temperature in here is about overall about 80 but anyway you'll see there'll be a substantial difference when I point this up there right now she's reading 73.9 because it was on before I started this video because I was in here doing some work but the point is not to show you whether or not it's cool in the RV right now it's to show you that if if will that thing run so let's go back out that generator is good and warmed up now all right so let's do what I say. I'm going to plug it in, keeping the camera on the meter. You'll hear the generator stumble a bit, but let's put her on the hold on here. All right, you guys see the meter? I'm going to plug it in. Here we go. Oops, thumbs up. Okay, you see that? She's got up to 21. She's drawing about 2100, 24. She's borderline. Now she should start dropping. Let's check our other readings. She's still doing 121 volts at 19.4 amps. And this generator can put out 25 amps. So that's her. So let's move away. As you can see, the generator has changed its tone, but it is still pretty damn quiet, even from the backside. So let's go in the RV where the air conditioner is running. And I know it's running. I can hear it now. And let's... Why did I close that door? I need some light, don't I? Alright. Now let's go up, point it at the same vent. And look at that. She's already down to 61. And she's going to get colder, so... Let's let it run for a little bit. Oh, she's already cooling off heavily. Look at that. I was, I was on the actual vent. But she's blowing 50, you know, 57. Oh, stop pointing it at the plastic shroud. She's about 57 degrees right now. Will the RV AC run off a Predator 3500 generator? And the answer to that is a resounding yes. They are a good investment. We'll just see 
what kind of longevity they have. I hope it's good. I do have the warranty, so we'll have to see how that turns out. So I'm Big Reggie. Make sure to drop a comment. Make sure to subscribe. And let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. All right. That's it for now. Peace.